The sketch to render has been one of the most popular AI workflows using stable diffusion. The original method mainly relied on control nets. However, this new workflow I will show you is far more flexibility and control, particularly when it comes to styling. This is done through the use of IP adapters, which are essentially add-ons for using images as props. You can use it to copy the style, composition, or face from a reference image. Here I have a standard setup of a Juggernaut model checkpoint, and you will need to go to the manager and in the custom nodes, search for the IP adapter for our style transfer. Just add this IP adapter plus, which I've installed it already, and just close it. If you search and add the IP adapter advanced node, and you also need a unified loader. But these are the main two nodes that we just need. I will just change the strength preset to high strength, and then connect all the model links for the models and the IP adapters as so. I will use the plus high strength preset for the IP adapter. And I will add a load image node and choose my first style reference. So I will drag in this vivid CGI rendered reference. I will also add a prep image for clip vision node. This is optional, but I will use it to increase the sharpness here to add more definition to the generation. So I'll connect this to the IP adapter and change the sharpening to something like 0 0.1. Over in the IP adapter advanced, for the weight type, it will be style transfer as expected. And I'll make the weighting stronger to start with at 1.2. If we then move down, we have our typical prompts. But first, let's add our sketch. So delete the latent empty image, add a load image node, and I will drag in a simple pencil sketch of a street. I'll add in the BAE encode and attach the VAE from the checkpoint and connect the latent to the K sampler. We could then enter our prompts. So this will describe the sketch that we just added. So I'll change this to something like a photo of an urban street between tall apartments, daytime, high quality, high detail. The classic way to create sketch to image is using a control net to get the outline of the sketch and purely render based on the prompts. We still need this method, however, it is far more powerful when combined with the IP adapter. I won't go through the detailed installation for control nets as I've done a previous video, but just make sure the control net models you download and use for this example are for the SDXL and not the SD 1.5. For this, we will also need the advanced control net nodes, which you can install from the manager. I will load a apply control net advanced node and I'll move this over. Then add a load control net model and select a SDXL line art model for the SDXL as I mentioned. This you can download from Hugging Face and paste into your control net model folder. I will also add a preprocessor and scroll down and select the realistic line art to match. Then connect the sketch image to this. I will move this down and also add a preview node so we can see what the control net effect looks like. Connect this to the control net and then the prompts from here to the case sampler. I will also reduce the strength of this control net as it works slightly better with a lower value I found. Now adjust some of the case sampler settings so I'll fix the seed to be able to control the generations, steps to 30, CFG to 6, and sampler name to DPMPP. Then we are ready to run. Oh, and if the red circle shows like this, just connect the nodes that have been missed, such as the positive and negative ones here. Thank you, the prompt again. Now we have our first stylized sketch. I'll move this across so we can get a better comparison. You can see it follows quite well the original sketch and fills in the gaps nicely. It has rendered the balconies and also the trees. The color range also matches the input sketch very closely as we have set a high strength. It is important to note that if the reference image does resemble the sketch, 
you get better results. Such as here, where there are buildings, skies, and a path which match the sketch. But this is not a necessity, as you can get some creative results without a close match. I will reduce the denoise on the case sampler to get the generation to follow the original sketch some more and generate again. You can see a slight difference with a few more details being picked up. I will try again with a strong style transfer. Use the denoise back to one. And we have a much more vivid CGI looking image with some creative details and landscaping here added in. So you can see how you can tweak the results to your liking. I can now switch to another render style to show you how this works. I'll change the IP adapter to style transfer. I'll drag in a more photorealistic reference image for the style. And run again. You can see how quick it is to control your render from your sketches to specific style you like. And this is much more easier than just adding a simple prompt. You can also get more creative. I'll add in here a evening shot with some motion blur. Change the weight down slightly, as it is a very strong style, and adjust the prompt to match the style a bit more. When I run, you can get a more creative output, picking up the yellow lines. Perhaps this is not what you want, but you can get some nice artistic effects. Let's try a more extreme example. Here I'll add a blizzard at night reference image. Uh, this is interesting to get some weather effects in. So I'll add to the prompt nighttime and snowing and reduce the waiting slightly. Now we have a very atmospheric scene to our street. You get a lot of fun with both lighting styles, weathers and creating various moods. I'll just finish off with an example of rendering our sketch to a watercolor image. Could be useful for presenting more conceptual and artistic visuals to clients. So once again, adjust the prompt to a watercolor drawing and I'll run it again. Another very interesting result. It even includes the watercolor splashes from the reference image here in purple. And you can see it's the matching color palette again. You can get quite addictive trying out the various references, but if you already have a specific style you often render to, you can use that each time to maintain consistency in your sketch to render workflow. I hope you found this useful and enjoy trying this out.